we'll discuss a new concept called radical axis now consider two circles let us consider sir two circles s is equal to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 s dash is equal to x square plus y square 2g dash x plus 2f dash y plus c dash equal to 0 now if you take two circles like this now let us consider a point p x1 y1 outside now this is c1 and this is c2 now you can join these two and join these two also let p x1 y1 be any point now if you calculate the power of the point p x1 y1 with respect to first circle s is equal to 0 and this is s dash equal to 0 now p x1 y1 power of point so power of point of p x1 y1 is s11 so power of point of first circle and second circle s11 and s dash 11 now if the powers of the point p x1 y1 with respect to two circles are equal that means when these two are equal as we discussed earlier s11 is a value even s dash 11 is also a value so if these two values are equal so s11 is equal to s dash 11 that means substitute values here now x1 square y1 square 2g x1 plus 2f y1 plus c is equal to x1 square plus y1 square 2g dash x1 2f dash y1 plus c dash now lhs is the power of the point of p x1 y1 with respect to the first circle a rhs is the power of the point p x1 y1 with respect to the second circle now x1 square y1 square gets cancelled rearranging the terms you are getting 2 e g in minus g dash into x1 plus 2 into f minus f dash into y1 plus c minus c dash equal to 0 now you are able to see very clearly this is of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 now collecting all these points from which the powers of points are equal it will definitely form a straight line like this this straight line is nothing but radical axis so collection of all these points is nothing but locus locus of p x1 y1 is 2 into g minus g dash into x plus 2 into f minus f dash into y plus c minus c dash equal to 0 it is in the format of a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 which is nothing but a straight line not passing through the origin if the constant is not 0 now we will define what is the radical axis definition now because you are talking about the locus it is collection of points so locus of the point from which the powers of point of two circles are equal then such collection will form a straight line that straight line is nothing but radical axis so radical axis is a straight line which is the collection of points whose powers of point with respect to two circles are equal now calculate the slope of this straight line slope is equal to m1 minus of g minus g dash by f minus f dash because for ax plus by plus c equal to 0 slope is minus a by b now already you know that this is minus g comma minus f this is minus g dash comma minus f dash now join these two this is called line of centers now what is slope of c1 c2 m2 is equal to slope of c1 c2 this is slope of radical axis now you can check very clearly this is given by c1 c2 when two points are given to you difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates 
that is f minus f dash by g minus g dash. So, consider m1 m2 that is equal to minus g minus g dash by f minus f dash into f minus f dash by g minus g dash. We can see very clearly numerator gets cancelled, denominator also gets cancelled leaving m1 m2 is equal to minus 1. This condition clearly shows that the two lines are mutually perpendicular. That means radical axis is one line, this is line of centers. So, the conclusion is radical axis is always perpendicular to the line of centers. Further, we observe one logic that these two circles are one is completely outside the other. When two circles are non intersecting, when two circles are non intersecting, the radical axis lies in between the two circles. The two circles are non intersecting means radical axis lies in between the two circles.